sick kids. What time is that? Hello, this is Keith with Geek Time TV, and I had to take a break from the paying job when I saw this headline to do a quick video. So Hasbro unveils new Star Wars figures to celebrate Lucasfilm's 50th anniversary sequel trilogy missing. Yes, it's true. They're announcing a new line of toys for the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm with a newly announced series of Star Wars Black Series figures. The announcement was made during Fan First Friday event and includes everything from the prequel trilogy to the OT, to Clone Wars and Rebels, but there's no mention of any Disney Star Wars, not even The Mandalorian. So let's take a look at what we got here. First up, we get Phantom Menace Episode 1 figures in throwback 1990s packaging. And the card back with the blister is cool, but it means I need to buy two if I want to actually maybe hold on to one for value. Um, because I, I just I hate tearing those things apart. So the initial wave includes Qui-Gon Jinn, Mace Windu, Jar Jar Binks, and a battle droid. So uh, they are Best Buy exclusives and up for pre-order now. So um, let's take a look here. We got Qui-Gon, who's very cool. Too bad um, his character in the movie was just as plastic as this toy. Next up, Mace Windu. This is one I will definitely pick up. Who doesn't want a Samuel L. Jackson sitting on their desk? I, for one, am all for it. Next up, Jar Jar Binks. Now, here's the thing with Jar Jar Binks. I've seen his Black Series figure in the store, and I was tempted to buy it already. Um, not because I like this loathsome coont of a character. It's just that the, the figure looks really good. It's really cool. And if you didn't know what a horrible character he was, you kind of think that was pretty wild to have. So, I don't know. I might actually pick him up because it's really well sculpted. It looks really cool. Next up is the battle droid and uh, not a fan. So I'll skip right over that. So Phantom Menace figures. And then we go into a new hope. So here's what we get from the original trilogy. We get Obi-Wan Kenobi with a plastic cape, a Jawa rocking a cloth robe and Greedo all Kenner style. So that's kind of cool. I, I might want to check those out too. They're up for pre-order on Amazon. And said to be Amazon exclusives. So let's check out Obi-Wan there. And see these on the nice original card back there. Now that's cool. Now this is one I'm going to have to get. Because the plastic cape is great and retro and all. But you could take that off. And then you got a really badass looking Obi-Wan. And what's great about the Black Series figures is. Not only are they six inches high. But they have so many points of articulation. So you can put them in these really great poses like that one. That is a great pose, and it's Alec Guinness. Uh, I got to have that. Obi-Wan is on the list. Next, we got a Jawa. Yeah, that's kind of cool with the cloth cape and all. Harkens back to when I was a little kid. Uh, not sure I'll buy a Jawa, though. They are really irritating. Next up, Greedo. He did not shoot first. That's kind of cool. Looks a lot like that Kenner toy I had as a kid. Uh, yeah, so there's also new figures for the vintage line Endor Leia and Pop Lou the Ewok. Pass on both of those. Next up from the Bad Batch, we have Elite Squad Trooper, and he's already on pre order for me. That guy looks pretty darn cool. And then from the Filoni verse, we get Ahsoka Tano and Darth Maul. So there's Ahsoka. And there's Maul with his fake leg. I'm going to have to get Maul. That's really cool looking. So yeah, that's it. No Disney characters whatsoever. No Disney toys whatsoever. And I'm, I can't say I'm surprised. I mean, this is the first wave. Clearly, they'll do a second wave probably with uh, Empire Strikes Back and um, the Attack of the Clones and things like that. But I, I, I don't think they're going to go near the sequel trilogy anytime soon. Because when you see things like this, the Last Jedi toys with Rose Tico's and General Hux's or Commander Hux's, whatever his name is, uh, $3, and they're full of them. They can't get rid of them. And Gary from Nerdrotic tweeted this out a while back that he saw Rose Tico's for 50 cents. 
on the shelves. And then even Hasbro's CEO admits to making mistakes with The Last Jedi toys. What he says here, the fact that we began to merchandise the film in September and the film came out in December was too long a period of time to sustain a real interest, a retail interest. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, you know, I know times have changed and all, and, and kids might not be into toys as much as they were with video games and streaming and whatnot. But boy, when I was a kid, people were paying for Star Wars figures before they were even out. Like a year in advance, they bought a piece of cardboard telling them that they were going to get toys someday. And I remember even seeing like Boba Fett like a year before Empire Strikes Back was released. So I I don't I don't know. I don't think that that's true. I think what's true is the Disney characters are terrible. Uh, Finn was underwritten. Ray is a Mary Sue. Kylo Ren's a whiny brat. Uh, you just it goes on and on. These characters are terrible. Um, that's the problem. So it's not you, Hasbro. It's Disney. So anyway, that's about it for me. I think I'm going to be spending some money here. Yeah. So I'm curious to see what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment below, like, or if you're so inclined, even dislike this video. But please. Consider subscribing to the channel. It only helps us grow. We're new. We're trying to grow this thing into something cool. Um, yeah. And in the meantime, we will see you in the next video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, make sure you click the little bell icon to be notified anytime someone from our show drops new content here. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey, kids. What time is that?